Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we have a ton of stuff to do in this episode. So last time we started building this train station and it's clear that we need a few more rails here and there. We're missing a little bit. So we need to get some supplies and go over there and also get the area covered under radar. Um, we don't have an endpoint yet, though we did prepare ourselves for the infusion of liquid into our factory. So we do need to build a train station out here to collect that stuff and get it moving. I've been having a thought about the next stages of our factory. And we built this um, sort of starter factory just to get things up and running. And things are definitely up and running. I think we'll go to Blue Science and then we have the second part of our game to uh to complete but we might need more materials on the bus because we have very few lanes of each and it might be time to start thinking about maybe bringing in some more via train uh into this area or something like that i don't know yet but we will have a go so next thing on the list is advanced oil processing which is blue science so that is going to be our next assembly i kind of want to get past these cliffs here and maybe build on this side uh, of things it seems to be a little bit more open uh, than these cliffs over here uh, I'm not going to use cliff explosives because I really do like natural landscape and the um, the challenges it provides with routing and all that kind of stuff so we're going to use minimal stuff like that that's the same with landfill now let's check the pollution real quick and see what we've got here um, we might have to clear out some of these nests, but to be honest, I've been kind of looking forward to lasers to get that done. So let's start off by building that railroad track up uh, to the northwestern part of our factory and um, finishing that off, getting the radar up there so we can see what's going on. Okay, we have these things. Yay. That's great. Let's go to the track and put down our locomotive. So we have a nice, fast, tasty way to get up there. I've been thinking about uh, possibly infusing iron into the bus. Oh, whoops. No. Auto save. You messed me up there. Okay. Do we not have fuel? Apparently we don't have fuel. I think I put it all in the dump chest. <laughs> whoops. I probably should get rid of some of these stone bricks as well. Uh, they're very good for paving stuff. Let's see. We could pave the area near the mall. That might be nice. Okay, before I do that, let me just see if there is any coal here. Yes, there is. Perfect. I don't know why I have all these bricks. I must have uh, been running along a line or something and just um, picking them up off of some other area. I can't remember where, but it should be fine. Okay, there we go. Seems okay need to look at one tiny thing okay good all right let's go up and now we have fuel to put in our locomotive so we can finally get on our way here go there we are and zooming off into the unknown no, it's not. It's not that unknown. I mean, let's be realistic here. It's it's mostly known. It's mostly like our home territory. We're fine here. Yes. Thank you, nanobots. Let's go. There we are. Very nice. We'll have a turn here and make sure that all of this is also placed down. Looks like there are some bits missing. Let's get out of the train here. The locomotive. Okay. Is this unhappy here? I don't know. Is this too tight of a curve? Oh, gee, it is. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Apparently, I put this slightly too close. Okay. All right. We have to error correction time. Okay, that's just fine, though. That worked very well. And this piece needs to have one more connecting piece. There we are. Okay. All right. Radar time. Let's put these things down where they need to go. Probably. Okay, we want to get the edge of that in there, so let's take this and just go down. And take it sideways, in case we build another train thing here. I want to have as little blocked as possible. Of course, that's right on line with the, uh, with the train track, so we'll move that up. There we go. Much better. Alright, 
so now we can see this area on radar. This bit, I don't really care about that much. I think we should be fine. Did we put down turrets here? I think we hey, did. Did we? Hello? I don't know if we did or not. Maybe. Oh, apparently we put a train down here. <clears throat> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's like, well, we put down something over here. Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, there. There we have a couple of turrets. I see them now. Okay, that's fine. Well, we have two more. And we have a, a train that's on the wrong track. We'll just move this slightly and then we'll get all the stuff going back to the base. The train is ready, which is great. It's very exciting. All right, let's go back to the base. I think we're ready to get all that going. We just need to build the base station and get petroleum flowing through our factory. Now this is the hard bit. It's like, how do you align stuff in the, I don't know. This is the area of receiving, receiving area. Let's turn off the pollution for now. We're not in any imminent danger. Uh, we need to have an exit which probably would be good if we had it here-ish. So we can start with that. Let's start with that. Oh, that's actually a really good point uh, to go with. Let's put these on our hotbar. So we can have this maybe like there. Kind of like this. So this is going to be our outlet place. Um, do we have... Let's just see if we have everything going nothing uh nothing went blinky okay we're good wow we're actually really good on this so we can remove all of these power poles because they're not needed okay very nice we can also make redundant connections afterward if they are needed uh, let's take these off i don't remember where that power line was from seems like it must have been from an early stage of the game okay take this and go there and then we will start probably with our stations that we need to have coming in. And we're just going to build these like one at a time because we don't really need a whole bunch all at once. Uh, because we don't know how we want to move things around yet. We might move some of this stuff. I don't know. But we're going to have it coming in this way and then trains going out that way. Okay, so we started off with, uh, we have our stations up here. Um, for loading oil. And I think we can just kind of copy and paste the whole thing. Why not? We want to have the petroleum station. Uh, they are identical though, so we can just copy the one and it will be fine. Do we have signals here? Yes, it's just hard to see behind the power pole. Okay, uh, let's take this and place it down where we need it to be. Okay, there we go. Uh, wow, okay, so we can we can put this quite far to the right. We don't want to hit those miners there, though. Let's get our curve. There we go, our 90 degree curve. And I think we can have it like here, maybe. That seems reasonable. And we will paste in the station to match the curve. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, that's perfect. That is really good. All right, and then we can just take off these um, uh, ammo distribution units <laughs> before they get into trouble. And then take these little bits off here. Yay, nice and neat. Oh, okay, fine, fine. It always does that. Uh, all right, now then, we also want to have a parking lot that will serve these um, various places. I think we can do one a bit. So we'll put it here. Uh, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But we'll have one, at least one station. We need, we need two liquid stations, I think. We need petroleum and we're going to need lubricant here. And um, I don't know. Somebody mentioned that we're going to need rocket fuel. Uh, needs the... Uh, light oil as well to construct. Let's just check on that. Let's see. If we go here, rocket. Let's see. Where is it? Aha! Rocket fuel. 
How do you make this? Ah, I need solid fuel and light fuel. This seems very natural to place at the oil refineries. So we don't have to truck anything around. So I think this, this might be really good up by the refinery. So I think we'll leave that there and just have a solid stuff train station bringing that in instead. But for now, all we're going to need is petroleum and lubricant, I believe. Uh, if we need heavy oil, I think we'll just get to that maybe. Okay, let's copy this bit. Okay, there we go. Very nice. Okay, that's great. All right. Okay, so we have two stations coming in. We need to have our parking lots here as well. I think with this, we can move this power pole to the side and make it quite close this way. Um, there we go. And then connect it here instead of this weird combo that we had going here. Because I think we're going to need to... Okay, this is connected that way. That's fine. And take... Oh, apparently not connected that way. Whoops. Oh, I think we... Yeah, we demolished it there. But we will replace it with high capacity power lines. No, they're not really high capacity. They're just long distance. There's no capacity. I shouldn't say that because I'm just joking, but they're, they, they don't have a capacity requirement. I'm glad of that because certain other games that I've seen are very annoying. Like uh, Oxygen Not Included has a capacity thing that's like, huh? Why? Ow. <laughs> it's very painful to deal with. But, uh, oh, wow. Some more miners also ran out over here. I think we just, did we decide we needed to like redo this entire set of, yeah. We're going to have to do that soon. I will leave, I think, room for another station and let's put down a parking lot. Even if we don't have this, we can, uh, okay, that's the right direction. Even without the, uh, another station, we can easily rip up this parking lot and it will be fine. And the reason I left a space here is so that we could have a second parking lot. Uh, and that would be something like like here, like if I did this, so we can hold more trains and they would go to different stations and they wouldn't block the other trains. And so we have more throughput on the lines here, uh, but it leaves room. And that's why I put in these extra couple of tracks here to make sure that we could do that. Okay. So we have stuff going on here. Let us connect this to the main line. Um, all right. Diagonal to here. Mm, yep. Good, good. Very good. Uh, signal, chain signal before the crossing. I think we can probably delete this entirely. Um, maybe. I should have done this the other way, though. I should have done this differently because they're going to cross each other. But it's okay. It's fine. It's not really going to impact anything for a very long time. So that's not something we have to worry about. So... Uh, but we could redesign the entire thing if we wanted to. Let's just take these bits here. Yay. Okay. It's been fun to build kind of like on a smaller scale than I usually do. And I'm kind of wondering like maybe I should do a ribbon world soon. I don't know. What do you think about that? Could be fun, could be frustrating, could be interesting, I don't know. Could be all the things. All right, I think I think that uh, that was a little bit uh, silly there because I should have just taken this thing and just gone straight up. Okay, let's just do that. Let us create this uh, thing here like this. Go all the way down so we have... This is making room for train stations that are not yet placed. We'll have like a, can we square corner this? Let's see if we can. Okay, apparently one more. Yeah, there we go. Looking good, looking very good. Okay, and I will put in a couple of temporary signals here. We will 
course, redefine them when we have more outlets to different stations because they all will have a signal coming out like this. Okay, and we can just remove this. We <laughs> made a little bit of... Uh, I was like, oh yeah, we should just leave this here. And then I was carefully, carefully going around. Yeah, just should have demolished the whole thing. Okay, let's take this out. And then we will, uh, we need to get the power lines reconnected as well. Okay, that's just fine. Oh, see, always does this. I don't like that. Uh, those are always the hardest things because they kind of overlap each other and you it's really difficult to um, move the mouse in the way that it, it doesn't you know, think. Let's get our power lines connected then and take them this way. Sure. There we are. Close to max distance as reasonable uh, in terms of time. Okay. Wow, that's... That's a thing. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to take this along here and then connect it to the heart of things right there instead. Please. Thank you. Okay, great. And then I will remove these power poles there. Okay, apparently the light was very attached to that one. There we go. And then just take these off. Do a tiny bit of cleanup here. And uh, there we go. We can call this good. Let me put down this. A couple of lights here because it is very dark. Very, very dark. Put one here now. All right, we have a train line that is probably functioning. I say probably because we don't actually know yet until we have tested the whole route and the signals and stuff. But I'm going to set the train uh, to doing stuff. I guess we can take these off as well now. Man, the nights in Factorio are dark. Okay. But I like to have lights at the train station. So it's very friendly. Okay, apparently I didn't get that properly put down yet. We need pumps, obviously. There we go. So we probably need to change the names of these train stations as well because they are incorrect. We're going to have this one. This is good to be... Let's see, base, uh, petroleum. Okay. I think this was, a, was it 155? I almost always do 155 for gray. Let's see, I don't remember. Or we can just copy it from the train when it comes by. And this is going to be lubricant, base lubricant. There we go. And it's going to be green, appropriately labeled. Yes, good, great, excellent. And then we can start to uh, hook these things up. I'm guessing we probably don't need this volume of petroleum coming in, i.e. two pipes worth. So I think I will just, um, I'll connect them here and then have one pipe going into the connection with the base. Excellent. Okay. And then this one, we can do the same thing with... Oh, that was not the right thing. Okay, it's fine though. It is fine. Okay, this is completely wrong. How did that happen? Okay, I thought it was like a visual thing. I was like, huh, <laughs> does that go there? Maybe, maybe. Okay, these can go this way and then we can have a long corner and because of the underflowies, they don't connect at all there, which is nice. Okay, are we ready for our first petroleum delivery? Wow, this is great. This is exciting. This means blue science will happen soon. Uh, right, let's look at our train thing. T is for technology. Uh, trains doesn't have... I don't think it has a hotkey, but I'm not sure. Okay, let's do our stations here. Let's go from petroleum. I should rename these stations, actually. Let's do that. We need to rename them because I think that will be important. So we're going to rename this. This is going to be oil. 
uh, crude one. Actually, we'll just call it crude here, or we should call it oil. Uh, should we oil one? No. I think we're just gonna call it crude drop off. Okay, there we go. Oil crude drop off. Okay, this is gonna be oil. lubricant pickup okay and then this is going to be oil petroleum pickup okay and this is going to be our solid fuel i think oil solid fuel pickup okay very nice Okay, so this is going to make more sense to us when we do our train thing. So let's go back to our train menu and choose stations. So oil, uh, petroleum pickup, full uh, load, ah, fluid count. What we should do with the fluid count, I don't know if there's still issues with this. There used to be an issue where it wouldn't fill completely, so you couldn't use the full cargo condition. So I think what we're going to do is a fluid count of something and we have to figure out what that something is because i don't remember the maximum fluid count of a, uh, a fluid wagon okay here it is so we have twenty-five thousand. so that means on four it's going to be a hundred thousand so i think what we should do on that one is just do a condition of um let's see petroleum greater than ninety-nine thousand. oops there we go. Set. And that should be more than enough. I mean, you could do 999. Nine. 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 Many nines. Five nines in a row. Um, <laughs> so that's going to be our our condition to leave the station. I've seen a lot of people on the forums get that confused as in go there if. This is more like you're at the station and this is your leave condition. This is how long you wait. That's why it's called a wait condition. So when it has fluid of petroleum greater than 99,000, we're going to leave for the next station. So let's go ahead and put our next one in, which is base petroleum. When I say base petroleum, it's always a drop off thing. So I don't feel like I need to put drop off, but you can name your stations however you want. Let's add our wait condition of um, fluid count. I think we want to do this less than, I don't know, four. So there's like one unit in each. There could be like tiny fractional units. Um, so that's what I'm kind of like guarding against with this. I don't know if that's still the case. It used to be the case, um, earlier in the patch. So anyway, this should work though. So let's set this on its automatic way. And then I'm going to make sure I'm not standing on the train tracks. And <laughs> we'll watch the train through the window here. There it goes. Oh, it's a happy camper. Look at this. It is going along the line. We have set out for it. It's very happy. You can tell it seems very jolly and yeah, nice. And then it's going to arrive here at the station and unload the things, except I put all the things wrong. So we're going to, uh, oops, reverse these. I forgot that it doesn't rotate in four directions, only two. There we go. Boom. That would have been funny. <laughs> unload and then reload. Okay. And train is happy. That means as soon as the train leaves, it means that we can get to the next station. So it is quite happy. I think the color is incorrect on the station here. Uh, now that I look at it, uh, but we'll have to look at that when the train is stopped I, or unless I can grab it, grab it. I can grab it. I can't look at the color of it though. What if I could copy it from that long distance? Let's see. Can we copy it from map mode? I have to be very careful. I'm on the tracks right now. Oh, no. It, no, it's the same color. I think it's the same color. Yeah, it's 155. Okay. I thought it looked darker, but it's probably was the nighttime. Okay. So we have petroleum coming in. This is great. Ah, oh, this is exciting. So now we can make stuff. Stuff is going to happen. Right now, the whole factory is asleep because... Uh, we don't have any more science to keep it busy and everything is full up. Oh, I need to make some more of those um, pumps, which we need uh, engines for. 
So I'm gonna go and collect some engines quickly. Where did they go? They are here somewhere. Now I wanna also look into robots. We don't have any robots yet. We need it, we need blue science. Okay, that's fine. That's one of the changes that was made to the game. Now I thought we had engines on the line here somewhere, but maybe I was mistaken. This looks like mall stuff. Oh no, I we had them up um, up in the other boutiques area. Now this is where I need the uh, the walkway here. Let's get walkway materials for next time we come back down. There we go, nice. So got a whole bunch of brick there, but this is quite useful as well to have this area. Okay, we need to. I'm gonna get a full stack of engines, and then we're gonna convert. A lot of these into uh, pumps. So we'll do like 15, sure. Or all of them, sure. Nanobots, please. If you will. Do I have any more nanobots? That's something I need, I think. There we go. Got all those sorted. I think we don't have any. Let me go and get some. Where are they? They are down there. Okay. By the way, I hope you caught our uh, Pyanodon series. We uh, we did a stream. Oh no, the train. <laughs> the train ran out of fuel. Okay. Anyway, we um, we've been uh, uh, Avon and I have been working on a Pyanodon playthrough, and it is super super fun. It's a very, very complicated mod pack and we're streaming it on Twitch. And um, so we just published uh, the, the VOD on YouTube uh, yesterday. So I hope you have caught that. It takes so many hours. Oh my goodness. That is, uh, it is a mass of a mod pack. So it's been interesting to kind of get that going. So I hope you'll catch us live or watch the VOD and enjoy it. It's taken us many, many hours to get to where we are. Like crazy amount of hours. Oh wait, you know what? I'm gonna leave that last stack in there. This, the, the four stack. All right, and we'll go back up and, huh, and fix our train because apparently I have neglected to provide it with fuel. Yes, not a good plan. What we can do, how much coal do we have here exactly? Probably not that much. I'm wondering, since we're going to be delivering solid fuel here anyway, we, it might behoove us to make solid fuel at the uh, main station there and at the main oil station, I should specify. And then get that kind of up here and then fuel the trains with solid fuel. Since we can afford it, it's very reasonable to have. Okay, let's just put this here. And wow, running out of coal. Okay, and then this train is here. Okay, hey train, how you doing? I think what I'll do is I'm gonna Put this train into manual mode and then we're gonna just take this train up there let's fuel it with the remnants of coal that's fine actually we have some wood to keep it busy okay i think what i'll do is i'll just leave it let's actually go into we have that whole stack of coal here so let's go just to the oils section here do i have any chem plants yes i do hey lucky us woohoo past kos thought of us excellent this is great okay train is going to go here and hopefully we should be able to make solid fuel by the time this train leaves okay so got to get out of the train area very quickly as you can see it fills up almost instantly it's crazy fast now here is where we want to make our uh, fuel distribution system. So we'll have, I think all we really need is a, a fast inserter. I don't think we really need a chest. Sometimes what, what I usually do is put a inserter, chest, inserter. But once we get 
uh, insert a capacity bonus. That's not really an issue. So we're just going to do it this way. And we'll take our uh, thingies, our undergrounds, and do this. And then take that there. And we don't really need that last one here. But we'll just take a regular belt going that way. Now, I don't have to be afraid of any tracks except for this one. But do give that one a decently wide berth because <laughs> it'll come get you. <laughs> it will kill you. Just matter of factly no explanations necessary no no apologies it's just gonna kill you okay so what i think we probably could do here we could set up a temporary supply for solid fuel how far do we need ahead do we need this solid fuel let's look in our tech tree because i think we don't have uh purple science yet um are they under science packs maybe yes they are Production science pack, right. This needs, it does not need solid fuel. Let's look at this one. This one also does not need solid fuel. Okay, so those are pretty good. The flying robot frames, I think need uh, lubricant, but nothing needs solid fuel except for, as we noted before, the rocket fuel. So I think we can do just a temporary setup for now, just making this um, this solid fuel maybe just right over here. We could be really spaghetti with this and just say, hey, we're gonna make some stuffs. Why not? We'll just put them down here and have uh, these uh, output inserters or out, out, output outserters. No, not outserters. Somebody asked me about outserters one day. And I was like, no, that is a foreign word. We do not do this word here. Um, but now I see their point. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so we have four. That's more than enough making. Probably one is enough, but let's just do it this way first. Uh, let's choose. We're going to do solid fuel from petroleum. And we're going to go that way and get our power poles hooked up. And we can link it with a long distance power pole and all we need now is to access this uh this petroleum here so i think i'll do that and just do this and create a link here okay there we go no yes aha it was a yes wow okay interesting and we can get our there we go so these guys will be making stuff and uh, yellow inserters are more than fast enough because they, yeah, we don't need it. Now this thing, if you've never seen one of these, let me just move this power pole for a minute. If you've never seen one of these, this basically evenly splits the uh, output and then puts half on each side of the belt. So what we're doing is we're using belt storage here for this solid fuel. Uh, so that we have enough, if we have lots of trains coming through here, that'll be great, uh, that we can actually get that going. I'm hoping, ah, we probably are not seeing the other train, or the train, because we only have one at the moment. Yeah, it's it's the base, because we don't have enough uh, storage. We've actually uh, filled up our storage, we need to go back to the base and get things organized. But that is a project for next episode because we have run out of time. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.